sometimes I just forget that I, I'm from a different country, if that makes sense. And when people ask me, where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Redfield, <laughs> Redfield, Bristol. I know that in a way I'm different to most of the British population. But at the same time, I don't really think of myself as a migrant too much. It's just different things are important to me. So I would think of the categories of being queer rather than, you know, being the other, the, the migrant. Before the pandemic, when I could kind of easily fly into Poland, it was kind of easier arranged to be there. It's only a two hour flight. Uh, but when I did have that chance to go whenever I wanted to, I, I wouldn't really actually go that, that often. <laughs> so um, I've, I don't, I, like my relationship with my family is quite complex. I always miss my family and I always wish that I could just, you know, sneak, um, sneak, sneak back there for a weekend. Um, but I never wanted to be there for, for longer. And every time when I went back, I, I really wanted to, to come back home, which is England. <laughs> I've, um, I've, I've enjoyed my time there, but I just also because that I'm not really happy with the place that I was born in. But then when the pandemic hit and when I, when I was deprived of a chance of going, uh, of, of doing it, that was quite hard because there were so many times I wanted to go back to my to my place to see my family. You know, some of my friends, you know, when the restrictions have been lifted, they were able to go back and see their family to, to spend some time with them or, you know, see them through a window or in the garden. I didn't have that chance. So um, that's definitely something that I really, really miss. Also, um, my situation during the pandemic changed drastically because my long-term relationship ended. Also, my best friend, we um, kind of, uh, we, we fell out. So we, we stopped, I mean, she decided to stop talking to me. Um, so we didn't, well, a few weeks, I kind of had to find a new place to live and, and a new flatmate and everything. So, you know, on a very basic, on a very a kind of physical level, I didn't feel a kind of, Mm, secure and um, yeah, it was it was quite scary. I've always had problem a uh, problem talking about my my emotions and what I was going through and and you know I couldn't really share things with others even with my um, ex partner. It was always a difficult thing to me to do. It never came to me naturally. And yeah, that's massively changed during the pandemic. I started to talk about my emotions much more freely, my emotions and my needs and 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 my problems, you know, what I'm, I'm I, I was going through. So things that just happened. I was craving for human contact and connection so much. I've got to the point where it's become quite easy for me to yeah to, to have to have a conversation and to have to have that connection with other people. I just kind of do it automatically now, like I just don't think about this, I just go into those situations and, and I just see myself actually succeeding, like, you know, that I that can actually happen and, you know, I, I can see people's re response that, you know, they do enjoy my company and I enjoy theirs and, and it's just happening. So yeah, I think I'm making friends and really enjoying, you know, other people's company. Weirdly enough, with all this isolation, uh, I just felt like I, I became closer to, to the rest of the world. There's so many like political and societal in, in, like injustice moments uh, last year, not just last year, but obviously with the murder of George Floyd. That moment of, of collective trauma and anger and and, and trying to do things together during the pandemic, it was, it was um, very transformative to me. So I think that experience of, of being the other, that really definitely helped me to, to connect with Black Lives Matter movement or, you know, with, with refugee calls or with, with people who are much more disadvantaged.
way. <laughs> I'm never gonna be taking things for granted as I as I have before. Being able to go back to my home country and see my family. You know, going to a pub or a restaurant or trying new things. You know, I, I surfed. I, I went to the surfing last month and I absolutely loved it. But I haven't done it before because I was like, okay, there's always time to do it. You know, there's, I, I can always, no, actually there isn't. And, and, yeah, the fragility of life, you know, it's, it's, it can go away in, in a minute, you know. It just changes my attitude to, to things, to, to opportunities, to connecting with people, with um, understanding that, you know, like things that are not, not always going to go the way I want them to.